primary pain is a newer concept that's been informed by the latest scientific and clinical evidence that's been published. A lot of it actually came from fMRI research, uh, pain reprocessing therapy research, and also the ICD-11 now includes a diagnosis of chronic primary pain. Primary pain is where pain is the primary problem. It is not secondary to any disease or pathology in the body. And so primary pain is pain that is originating in the brain. There is no structural abnormality, no pathologic entity, which we have found, which will explain it. You might think of it as something similar to phantom limb pain. That's a type of primary pain. Been recognized as very real for many, many years. Uh, and yet there's no actual continued ongoing uh, damage in that part of the body. Their brain will uh, just continue to fire these pain pathways, letting them know uh, that there's a problem when there actually isn't any problem. The pain has basically uh, become self-reinforcing, self-perpetuating, taking on a life of its own due to changes in brain pathways. The final common pathway of all pain, whether it started off as inflammatory uh, disc disease of the lower back or knee osteoarthritis or neuropathic pain caused by diabetes and defeat, end up with chronic primary pain. It's uh, important for us as physicians to understand that although in primary pain, you don't have that structural, mechanical, physical aberration, but the functioning, the disability, the agony, the suffering really exist over there. And actually it takes brain retraining and exercises to mitigate against its effects.